In this problem, it says, how long does it take for an investment to double? How long does it take? So it want to solve for T. Uh, for an investment to double in value, if it's invested 8% um, per year, um, compounded monthly, and then continuously. Okay, so the first one it says compounded monthly. That means that uh, N is equal to 12. Formula we're dealing with is A is equal to P times 1 plus R over N to the NT power. And uh, how long does it take for investment to double? They don't give us P, but if it doubles, that means A is going to be 2P. So 2P is equal to P times 1 plus R, which is 8%, divided by N, which is 12, raised to the NT power, which would be... Uh, 12t. I'm wanting to solve for t. Well, first thing we'll do is divide both sides by p. Like this. Now when we do that, these uh, p's are going to cancel. And uh, these p's will cancel also. So we've got 2 is equal to 1 plus 0 0.08 over 12 to the 12t power. Now this is an exponential equation. We're going through those steps. Our first step is to get the part of the variable in the exponent by itself, which is uh, what we just did there. Uh, our second step is to take natural log of both sides. So we've got natural log of 2 is equal to a natural log of 1 plus 0 0.08 over 12 to the 12t power. Step three is use properties of logs to get the variable out of the exponent. So this becomes natural log of 2 is equal to 12t natural log of 1 plus 0 0.08 over 12. Now we're trying to get t by itself. So our last step, solve for x, solve for t. We want to divide both sides by 12, but we also want to divide both sides by this natural log of 1 plus 0 0.08 divided by 12. Because realize that's just a number. So we've got natural log of 2 over 12 natural log of 1 plus 0 0.08 over 12 is equal to 12t natural log of 1 plus 0 0.08 over 12 all over 12 natural log of 1 plus 0 0.08 over 12. Now I'm going to do that. These 12 is going to cancel and these natural logs will cancel. And we got t is equal to this right here. Now, when we plug that in the calculator, we want to make sure we put parentheses around the bottom part. If you have more than a single number, single variable, or single variable, or a single log, then put parentheses around it. We have a single log up on top, so we don't need the, the parentheses there. So we got um, natural log of two closing parentheses divided by beginning parentheses around the bottom part 12 natural log of um, 1 plus 0 0.08 divided by 12 uh, 1 plus 0 0.08 divided by 12. You can put closing parentheses on at the very end if you want closing parentheses on the log, closing parentheses on the denominator. You don't absolutely have to have those. And then press enter. And we get t is equal to 8.69. I don't remember how many decimal places, but um, that would be our answer. The first part. Okay, let me scroll down here. Part 2 in this says compounded continuously. This is a PERT formula. So we got a is equal to p e to the rt. We said how long will it take to double your value, so that means a is 2p again. P, E, R is 8%, so 0 0.08, and T we don't know. We're trying to solve for that. <coughs> trying to get um, T by itself, so it's an exponential equation. First step is to divide both sides by, um, uh, or to divide both sides by P, because we're trying to get the part of the variable in the exponent by itself. So 2P divided by P is equal P, E to the 0.08T divided by P. 
This piece cancel and these piece cancel. So we've got 2 is equal to e to the 0.08 t. And our next step is take natural log of both sides. So we've got natural log of 2 is equal to natural log of e to the 0.08 t. Now step 3 is use properties of logs to get the variable out of the exponent. Remember if you have natural log, that's base e. And if these, these numbers match right here, then the log and the e is going to cancel. And we're going to have natural log of 2 is equal to 0.08 t. Now we're trying to get uh, t by itself, so we're going to divide both sides by 0.08. And we're going to do that. These uh, 0.08 will cancel. And we've got t is equal to that right there, which is uh, natural log of 2. Closing parentheses on 2 divided by 0.08. Enter. And we get 8.66. And that would be our second answer.